Hello and welcome to ChiefTutor.com training videos in Chief Architect. Uh, I'm using Chief Architect version X2. It might look a little different from what you guys have just because I have a special XP theme installed here, but uh, pretty much the same concept. What I'd like to do today is I'd like to show you how to quickly modify, find the things you need, modify uh, items in SketchUp and then apply them into your Chief Architect model. Now here I have a, just a blank plan and I want to import a door, let's say. So I'm going to go find a door and let's, uh, let's use the famous window tool here and I'll pounce through and find my Google Warehouse. And let's type in Dutch door. And I'll just pick the first one on the list, seems good. And that logo seems familiar. Not sure where I've seen that before. Okay, so I'm going to download. Remember to download the oldest version of the SketchUp file that's available so that its compatibility with Chief Architect is the best. So I'm going to go ahead and click to download that. I'm going to go ahead and open it with my SketchUp file. And click OK, and it should download and pop open. Once it's open, most symbols you'll find in Chief are combined or blocked like this. So in order to make small modifications, what you need to do is explode the item down into its parts and pieces. And so that's how you do it. You just right click and choose explode. And sometimes you want to double check, select everything again and keep hitting that explode option until there's nothing left to explode and then you're good to go. Okay. So now I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to take my round tool and I'm just going to put on the face about that. Then I'm going to use, um, say, the follow me tool. I'm going to select the little round that I made. I'm going to apply it to go all the way around this little panel I have here in the Dutch store. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now I've made the change I want to make. And I want to choose File, Save As. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Dutch door, sounds good. Click Save. And there we go. I'm going to downsize these programs that I don't need. And I'm just going to drag the file of the SketchUp and put it right here in the plan. So I'm dragging it with my left mouse button and let go. And it should generate. And again, it tells you about the textures that's there. Click OK and then my cursor turns into the icon. I'm going to scroll in a bit. Let's take a look. And sure enough, there it is. All looks well. Let's go to the high camera view as well so we can see it. And I'll zoom in to see that round edge that I created. And there we go. It's all set up. So it's very easy to find what you're looking for either in the library here at Chief or doing a quick search on Google Warehouse. Uh, for symbols that you need and things you might want to search for. Um, by the way, I keep a lot of my th symbols that I do up on the 3D warehouse, so why keep them on the hard drive stored when I can easily ac them, access them through Google? So it's a little trick of the trade if you want to make your own symbols, but it's very easy enough to grab a symbol, make a modification, stick it in the plan, and continue building and continue designing right on Chief Architect. Thank you so much. Talk to you soon.